I still see your shadows in my room. Can't take back the love that I gave you. It's to the point why. Yo, what is going on, everybody? It's Fresh Moses here, back with another video coming at you guys. It's another 2K19 video. Today, we're going to be talking about the new rebounding system slash mechanics in 2K19. So, Mike Wang tweeted on August 21st, he tweeted this big long thing, which basically turned out to be like a paragraph. Um, but he tweeted like uh, eight times, something like that. Um, so basically, we're going to summarize that and uh, talk about that a little bit and give, give you guys my thoughts. So, we're going to go ahead and read about it. Um, I'm gonna sum it up for you as well. I'm not gonna gonna paraphrase a little bit. So, uh, message from your friendly neighborhood AI engineer who works on rebounding. This year, only decent rebounders can cover a lot of ground while jumping uh, to make up for rebounds that did not go their way. So, if you're controlling a short guard with a low rebounding skill, it might be best to play here more like you'd respawn in real life to a rebound instead of immediately mashing the rebounding button. Keeping uh, you should keep him on his feet and rush over to the ball once you see where it's headed. So basically trying to time it more and add a little bit of realism to the game in that sense. And now if your player is fast and the ball bounces long, you might be able to pick it up on the run. And for skilled rebounders in good position with the ball bouncing off the rim in the direction, the ideal timing for the rebound button in offline modes is right as the ball hits uh, the rim for the first time a bit later than last year's timing and a tiny bit before it hits is okay Especially with good attributes, uh, but if you try to jump way too early You'll miss the ball quite regularly So trying to make it put a little more skills gap at rebounding as well this this year um, And I think box boxing out is a big part uh, Because of the later ideal rebound timing this year the box out mechanics will be more important to consider since there's more time spent on the ground of course it all starts with the box out trigger so in previous years box out trigger was l2 i believe uh, but what happens when a box out is started depends on the left stick relative to the rim of the both the boxer and the boxy the guy getting boxed out as a boxy you can attempt to shove your boxer to the rim by pushing your left stick toward the rim or to try to swim around him by pushing the left stick uh, by pushing the stick left or right of the rim. So I'm basically you're trying to get past around him and uh, figure a way to get to the ball as the offensive player. Now, uh, the success and speed of your swim attempt depends on many factors including strength, weight, box out skill, hustle rebounder, hustle rebounder badge level, and whether uh, either of you are in takeover. So I'm assuming if you're in takeover and you're maybe more of a center, you have a lot better chance of getting that, especially if you're a glass cleaner. Uh, I think this is pretty much automatic. You're going to get that rebound. Um, you can also attempt to disengage from the boxer by steering away from your opponent, opponent and let go of LT. So basically, LT is the boxer button. Uh, but a determined skilled boxer will be hard to avoid unless you just, unless you really just want to run away. As the boxer, you can counter the boxer's movements if you think you know what he's going to do. Push your left stick away from the rim to drive him back or push left or right. Uh, push left or right of the rim to guard against swim moves from that direction while making uh, you, yourself more, more vulnerable in the other direction. You can also choose to push towards the rim, giving up a bit of ground but making it harder for the boxy to muscle around you. If you're not sure, zero out your stick and you'll get a balanced re resolution for all possibilities. So uh, that is that's pretty crazy. Um, <laughs> that's a lot of detail for uh, boxing out and. If you're like a center and stuff, and you're in your glass cleaner, or rebound, or whatever, you can try to figure out and decipher all that. Basically, here's my summary: uh, you, there's a lot, of, there's rebounding mechanics. There's not just try to box out maybe a little bit and just smash the Y button or triangle, whatever, um, and try to get rebounds like that. You gotta actually put. They're trying to put skill into rebounding in 2K19. Now, how much skill there is in seeing where the ball is going to go when you're in glass cleaner? I don't know about that, but. Um, there certainly is from for everybody else it appears uh, that there's a lot of skill gap uh, for rebounding so all that stuff adds to the game uh, obviously shot timings become a little bit different and greens and all that stuff so I think this is a good thing uh, for them adding this these box out mechanics and then these rebounding things and for guards that are uh, but I think I feel like guards have always been kind of tough to get rebounds um, but I mean like think about Russell Westbrook his his badge has to be pretty high for hustle rebounders, so they gotta let they gotta figure out a way to make Russ get a bunch of rebounds. Just, just I'm just thinking out loud, but um, I don't know. So that 
that does some pretty crazy stuff for the new rebounding mechanics in NBA 2K19. So if you guys did enjoy this news video, and if you did, make sure you do leave a, leave a like on this video and subscribe for more NBA 2K19 content. And I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure you leave your thoughts down below in the comment section about this rebounding uh, stuff. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.